This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In this demonstration, we're going to look at the process of using SysPrep on a reference computer. As we've been talking about, uh, one of the benefits of automated installations is the fact that you can create a system uh, and then clone it and deploy that image to multiple uh, systems throughout the network. But in order to do that, we're going to have to wipe off certain uh, specific information, namely SIDs and names, so that we don't have connectivity problems. And, and we, we've talked about the fact that that's done through the use of SysPrep. Now, SysPrep is actually pretty easy to get to. Go Windows R here to open up the run box and just type in SysPrep. When you hit enter, it'll take you into the System32 SysPrep folder. Okay, so this is just a default part. This is not part of the uh, Windows Assessment Deployment Toolkit. It's a, it is a standalone utility, but it is now included uh, in Windows. So you would always find it in that location. When I double click the system preparation tool, uh, it opens up and it says this prepares the machine for hardware independence and cleanup. It's kind of an odd way of saying what we were just saying. And you've got two modes. You can either enter the system out of box experience or you can audit. Now, if you audit, that means it's not going to go through the uh, the setup, it is just going to, you know, I mean, you're going to watch the process. I, I shouldn't say that. You're going to watch the process and it's not going to save anything that you might do. Because see, when I click generalize and then choose to reboot, then it will wipe clean the system and reboot the system. On the way back up, if I'm out of box experience, then any changes that I make will then be saved versus if I choose audit, I can, monitor, uh, I can monitor that process without actually changing. Now ideally here, when I'm ready to image, I'm gonna go out of box experience, generalize, and reboot or shut down. Okay? Uh, once, I've, once I've done that, once I've shut down, then the next step will be to boot up to the Windows PE operating system, at which point I can use uh, the ImageX utility to actually capture the image uh, off, of this, off of this machine. So presumably on this machine, I've already installed applications, I've already configured the operating system in the way that I want it, and then this is the final step before capturing that image uh, file. Uh, there really isn't, uh, we'll, we'll just go quit here, there really isn't a whole lot to see. Uh, it'll, SysPrep is working, you know, it's going to be doing its thing, and then generally speaking, we would have told it to shut down or reboot, at which point it would shut down and reboot the system. And so it's not like I see a, a lot of detail. This also doesn't take very long. Uh, it's going to be a fairly, a fairly quick process as SysPrep wipes clean uh, that, uh, this, this system. But again, it's an incredibly important, so it's simple, but it's an incredibly important process uh, for us to perform just to ensure that as we're cloning systems, those systems are considered unique. You're going to want to strongly consider uh, automating the other side of this. When the system comes up, there are going to be some individual components that need to be added, like names and, 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 and uh, product keys and things like that that have been wiped clean. And so that can often be automated with an answer file uh, to truly give me a fully automated uh, installation process. So uh, we'll let this go. It's actually taking a little bit longer than I've usually seen it take. But uh, again, there's really nothing to look at. I just wanted to take a look at those options that we'd been talking about. And so in this demonstration, we've seen how to use SysPrep uh, to prepare a reference computer for imaging. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.